Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Voice Pods, which is a tool I've previously shared, but has recently gotten a couple of great updates. So, what Voice Pods does is it allows you to take any text and have it turned into speech that is played back, and you can read along with the playback. The new update allows you to use multiple voices for the same chunk of text. So I'm signed into my account here. Let's go ahead and make a new project. And we'll just call this one Dialogues to Use in Class. We'll call it Dialogues and Monologues. Let's create that. Now we're going to make a new pod. A pod is any block of text that you're going to have converted into audio. So let's select new pod. I'm now going to paste in some text that I have. And here we can adjust things like the rate at which the text should be read back the volume, and most importantly, we can now change out the voices. So I'm, you can see here I'm putting in some line breaks, and I'm going to now highlight that line, select the voices, and choose a voice, and we'll see that the voice I've chosen here is Aiden. If I choose that line, I can select a new voice for the next line. Perhaps I'll use Sophia's voice. And I can do that all the way through this recording. And we'll do this last little chunk. We'll let Scarlett read that one. You can see there's my default voice is Aaron, but we're actually not going to use Aaron's voice at all because we have these other voices highlighted. Now let's select Create Pod. And in a moment, this will switch from Pending to Success. And we'll be able to listen to that text aloud and see the words highlighted as they're read aloud. Now we see our status says success. Let's hit the listen button. And we can play it back. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And we see that the words are being highlighted as it's read aloud. Now if we need to go back and change anything about this, we can hit the edit button. Change the text. You can change the rate. I thought that was still a little too fast, so let's slow it down go. You can go in and change the emphasis and things like that. So that's voice pods and that's how you can use multiple voices in a voice pod recording. As always for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetech4teachers.com and practicaledtech.com.